Hey guys, Viz here. In this video, we're going to be having a look at a method I use for farming Slayer points, which I can then use to farm Reaper points. For some of you, this could become a daily activity as a full run usually takes roughly 60 to 75 minutes, depending on your setup and your execution. I'm going to be showcasing this with a considerable amount of upgrades and unlocks that most might not have access to. However, even without most of these unlocks and upgrades, this method can still be implemented to varying degrees, it just might take longer. If you're an Iron Man account looking to replicate this method, I'm afraid you may need to spend quite a bit of time at Shattered Worlds. I'm so sorry. On that note, let's get into it. I'm using an Inquisitor Staff with Karaming 4, as this allows me to farm multiple mobs and is only enhanced by the Greater Chain Unlock. To get the most out of this approach, we're going to set up some comical monster preferences and blocks with our Slayer Masters. You will want to pick up the Slayer Introspection Relic for additional speed. This relic allows you to pick a minimum or maximum for the task given. Make sure you are using Ancient Spells as we will be using the Spellbook Swap in order to switch to Lunar for NPC contact. Then it's off to the Lumbridge Catacombs. Now, the goal here is to finish 9 tasks very quickly with Jacqueline without leaving the Catacombs. Once we get up to our 10th task, you can either use the NPC contact again or the Slayer Cape to go to Laniarchia to receive another task. However, we are going to be forcing the task using a mask and with our relic perk setting the amount to kill. The mask of choice then allows us to teleport directly to the monster of choice, where in finishing the task we will net 110 Slayer points. Doing this process 5 times allows us to net the 50th task bonus of 330 Slayer points. As a result, you can collect comfortably on a daily basis 815 Slayer points in roughly 1 hour. One point for each of Jacqueline's 45 tasks and 770 points from the 5 Laniarchia tasks. Putting these points into Reaper tasks means on a daily basis this will allow for 3 additional Reaper tasks from death, if you have the ability unlocked to purchase additional tasks. Okay, let's talk about those Laniarchia Slayer tasks. The daily monsters and masks I use and would recommend are the Abyssal Demons, Gargoyles, Dark Beasts and the Mutated Jadinkos. And for the final task, I alternate on a three-day rotation between Dagonoths, Ganodermic Beasts, and Black Demons. This three-day rotation is because these masks have a three-day cooldown, unlike the daily masks. I find Curadale's dungeon to be ideal for the Abyssal Demons and Gargoyles. The Morning Tunnels are ideal for the Dark Beasts. Mutated Jajinkos and Ganodermic Beasts only have one true location. Black Demons can be done at a reasonable speed in Tavali Dungeon with a cannon. And finally, Dagonoffs underneath the lighthouse with a cannon are nice and quick. Quick note, it doesn't really matter quite how you go about killing each of these monsters. You can employ your own styles and preferences and gear. I tend to use Subjugation for the most part as I have Scavenging 4 on the gear. Sometimes switching to range in Armadale gear for Black Demons just to speed it up and it's usually because it's my last task. And one final note, from time to time Jagex likes to surprise us all by buffing the amount of Slayer points and Reaper points you can get. I'd strongly recommend waiting for one of these occasions to make the most of this method, as this method can get a bit tedious for most people. Anyway, I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video.